Hello and welcome to Ook3D. Today we're going to show you how to use our new split cake makers, which are available now at eBay and Facebook. The links are in the description below this video. My name is Andy and I'll be talking you through this video and Michelle will be performing the demonstration. We currently have purple 3, white 4 and black 5 slot versions and here are some examples of what can be achieved using our kits. Michelle is going to demonstrate the four color version today. The process is the same for purple three and black five colors. The only difference is the number of slots and plunges. There's been a lot of testing and development to produce these products and the final design will yield approximately 20 grams of paint per layer. This does depend of course on how densely you pack in the paint in the first place. So if you do need to know exactly how much paint you want in the finished split cake, we recommend that you weigh the paint first. Incidentally, we have used Snazaru paint in all our split cakes, however there's no reason why you couldn't use other manufacturers' paint. We use our split cake makers over and over. We just wash in between uses with washing up liquid in warm water. So let's talk about the parts and how it all goes together. The white unit in this case has four slots and each slot has a plunger which go together to form the areas where the paint will be placed. There's a stand which supports the split cake maker whilst the paint is inserted. There are two empty paint pots with lids included in the kit for your completed split cakes. You can purchase extra pots from us. The links to these are also in the description below this video. We also include a flattening tool to compress the split cakes once complete. Michelle also uses our pots for her own face painting kit and then uses this tool for flattening and smoothing the paints. Okay, so on with the demonstration. Apply pure unscented talcum powder to the unit and brush it in with a clean dry brush thoroughly before emptying the loose excess. This prevents the paint from sticking for the most part. If you find a better solution or have any suggestions we can try, please do drop us a line or comment below. Who knows, we might do a video with your suggestions and results of those trials. Our email address is also in the description below this video. Next, apply the paint. Now as yet we don't supply tools for this part, mainly because it's down to personal preference. Michelle likes to use a combination of teaspoons and a nail cuticle tool. Okay, so Michelle has almost finished putting all the paint into the split cake maker. And we're about ready to turn it out into one of our pots. So to do this, take a pot and place it on top of the split cake maker like this. And then turn the whole unit over. Remove the stand. And now pressing firmly down on the plungers, Pull the body of the split cake maker upwards, leaving the plungers and the paint behind in the pot. Next, waggle the plungers and leave the paint behind in the pot. Now at this stage, some paint might stick, one of the bars might stick to the plunger. 
You can remove this manually and then place it into the pot afterwards. Now, as you can see, there's the completed split cake. We could leave it there, but we're not going to do that here. We're actually going to create or add another layer to the split cake. So exactly the same process as before. And uh, we're going to skip that and just uh, go to the next level, which is the completed dual layer split cake. So there we are. Uh, Michelle's is going to smooth it all down. And there is our completed four bar or four color split cake ready to go. So we hope you've enjoyed watching our video. Um, if you've got any questions or would like further information or find out where to buy our products, then please check out the description below the video. Thanks for watching.